There's no secrets in terms of how we operate. And to make good on that promise, Dr. Micah Matarano says the school system is launching a new website this summer. He says it'll be one where the public can ask questions and expect answers. When people make their requests, I'm going to actually post their requests online. The community will be able to see uh, what those requests are and it will help build that trust. The former superintendent came under fire from the state for failing to respond in a timely manner to a number of information requests. That's why the head of at least one Howard County parent group is cautiously optimistic and says she'll work to make sure the interim superintendent keeps his word. I think we lost a lot of trust in the old administration because we knew we weren't getting the right answers. And so um, having that information out there is one step towards that. Um, but then the proof is in the pudding. Monterano says the district has to make some tough choices when it comes to issues like school overcrowding and student equity. Issues he says he plans to address in a timely and straightforward manner. We're very kind and we're very relationship driven, but never confuse that kindness with my firmness uh, in terms of what needs to be done. The interim superintendent says much of what needs to be done will be driven by the latest school system feasibility study. Now we have a copy of that Howard County School Feasibility Study. You can find it on our WBAL TV app. Live in the 11 Newsroom, Tim Tootin, WBAL TV 11 News.